Hello and welcome. Today we're working on a double declining balance method in depreciation for a partial year. How to do it if you only own the asset beginning, say, in April 1st or July 1st. If you're new here, my name's Jeff from Finally Learn. We're teaching the financial accounting chapters right now. And so we're in Accounting for Long-Term Assets, uh, Chapter 9. So I've got articles, videos, playlists to help you learn financial accounting. So on our problem, this is our second problem we worked on for double declining balance. The first one, check on the playlist. And it's an easy example where we have a full year. And so you can see how to get started with double declining balance. Let's jump in this problem. Let's say we have a cost of 525000 a useful life of five years, and a salvage value of 25000 It was purchased not on January 1st, but on April 1st. So what is our double the straight line rate or double declining balance? It's going to be two divided by the five years. So two fifths, and we can uh, use that as a fraction, of course. So uh, two divided by the five is going to be 40%. We're probably going to use the 40% rather than the fraction every time of two fifths. So how much is our total depreciation going to be over those five years? Well, it's going to be the cost minus the salvage value. So 525 minus 25,000. Our depreciable base is going to be 500,000. Okay, so let's set up a little schedule. Let's do the first, say, four years. We don't have to complete it all the way through. Once you see how you can do a problem like this, if you had a 10-year asset, then you probably wouldn't do all 10 years unless you're working on it in Excel you would do maybe the first three years. So I'm gonna show you four just to show how this works. So what is our book value at the beginning of year one? Well, it's 525,000. So what's our depreciation expense? Our depreciation expense is gonna be the preceding 525 times the 40%. Now, that would be the amount for the entire 12 months. So we need to now multiply this amount times how many months? Well, we have April through December. We have nine full months. You can count them up if you want to, or we're missing January, February, and March. So therefore, we've got nine months divided by 12. So the first year, we're going to multiply the annual amount by nine over 12 months. So our accumulated depreciation is going to be 157500 and then our book value is going to be the cost of 525. We'll make that absolute value minus the accumulated depreciation. And that's going to be 367,500. So let's just do the math here. And so the next year, we're going to take the preceding 367 times our 40% or two fifths is our rate. I'm going to make that absolute. And so now we have 147000 for the full year. We're going to make the accumulated depreciation 157 plus 147. So now we're at 304500 And then we'll have our cost minus the accumulated depreciation. So I'm just going to copy this down. So we're now at 220. So now we should be able to, I'm going to do one more and then I'll copy. So the 220 times the 40%, that is going to be an absolute value because I'm going to copy it down one more here. And our accumulated depreciation goes from 304 plus 88 to 392. Our book value goes down. And so the last one, we can just copy it down. We can say, The preceding number times 40%, so the preceding book value, so we're at 52,000. And our accumulated depreciation is going to be at 445, 620. And our book value goes down to 79,000. Now, at the very end, after all the years, what do we know? Well, we're going to know that the total depreciation is going to be uh, 500,000. And the book value over here will be uh, 25000 because that's what the salvage value is. All right, so 
if we had a 10 year asset, know how to do the first two or three years and you'll be fine. So let's calculate, do the journal entry. What if we have a depreciation expense for the first year? We calculated this already to be 157,500 and 157,500. So the depreciation expense journal entry for the first year is gonna be 157,500. For the second year, it's gonna be 147,000. And we go from there. Each year under double declining balance has a different depreciation expense. 